Hello everybody, this is Matt Jedi and today we're going to be attacking 2022 AMC Problem 25. A cricket randomly hops between four leaves on each turn, hopping to one of the three leaves with equal probability. After four hops, what is the probability that the cricket has returned to the leaf where it started? So basically, um, if a cricket's right here, it can jump to this one, this one, and this one. Basically, the three other leaves. And this problem screams out recursion to me, because the probability of it returning to its original position after n hops is highly dependent on the position the cricket is at after n minus 1 hops. So this is just recursion. And usually when we do a recursion, we usually want to define what the recursion is. So it would be very suitable to define p of n. So p of n will basically stand for the probability of the cricket returning. So cricket goes to going to the original position after n hops. So we can define our recursion by this statement. So now every recursion needs to recurse. So this means it needs to relate p of n to p of n minus 1, p of n minus 2, etc. It can relate to anything. In this case, it is most suitable to relate it to p of n minus 1 because it is only at p of n minus 1 that matters because the position of p of n minus 1, the, the position after n minus 1 hops, directly determines the probability of the cricket returning to its original position after n hops. Okay, so let's try to construct the recursion. So let's think about it. After n minus 1 hops, if the cricket is returning to its original position, then what's the probability that it will return to its original position the next hop? Zero, because it literally can't. It's really at the original position and it's forced to hop to one of the other three. So this means that p of n, it needs to be not, it needs to not return to its original position after n minus 1 hops. So p of n minus 1 tells us the probability that the cricket goes to the original position after n minus 1 hops. And for it to not go to the original position, the probability of that is therefore 1 minus p of n minus 1. Because the probability of not going to the original position is 1 minus p of n minus 1. So after that, let's say it goes here, let's say the cricket is here after n minus 1 hops, the probability it returns to the original position, well, there's three possible um, leaves to go on. There's one third chance that it goes to the original. So this is a recursion. So now we can just start plugging in values. P of one, after one hop, so in the beginning, the cricket's right here in the original position. P of one is just zero, because it's impossible to return to its original position. Now P of two, we can just plug into the recursion, just chug it in. One minus zero times one third, one third. Same thing, P of three, one minus one third, times one third, two nine. And it's very systematic, it's very simple, just the calculation. Now P of four, one minus two nine, times one third, which is seven over 27. And that is actually our final answer. And that is answer choice E. So note that this problem can also have been done using um, five hops, six hops, seven hops, because it's just a simple calculation. Rather, casework would be much more lengthier. So recursion is always the best way to go in these types of problems. So thank you so much for watching. May the forest be with you guys, and see you next time.